Welcome to another Tempo Storm meta snapshot. The upcoming Deadminds mini set is right around the corner, and before it releases, we wanted to give you a helping hand in climbing the last minute ladder. The mini set will be releasing quite a few cards, and we can't wait to get our hands on them. Many players agree that this meta feels relatively stale, so some new cards to spice the game up are more than welcome. There's a few days until the set releases, so join us for our last look at the United in Stormwind meta. Before we start looking at Tier 1, we want to remind you to subscribe to our channel over here at Tempo Strategy to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. Now let's begin. To no one's surprise, Garot Rogue leads off Tier 1 in this meta snapshot. While the deck is extremely difficult to pilot, it will reward a master class player with a really high win rate. Every turn will present complex decisions, but players who can navigate those decisions will see their rank skyrocket. Garot Rogue aims to play for board in the first few turns of the game, then eventually transition into a combo style game plan. After discounting your key cards, players can effectively cycle through their entire deck while killing off their opponent from hand. This deck can be very frustrating to play against, often leaving opponents feeling helpless, so be careful playing this one with your friends. Miracle Rogue has a great matchup spread against the meta, with its best matchup being against slower and greedier decks such as Librem Paladin. You'll have all of the time in the world to combo in these games, allowing you to play for your win condition. As for bad matchups, this rogue archetype tends to struggle against OTK Demon Hunter due to how punishing Glide can be for you, alongside how fast they'll kill you at times. The second deck in tier 1 is Hand Warlock. Despite the continuous nerfs, this archetype remains as annoying as ever, and it still finds itself at the top of the meta. However, much like Garot Rogue, this deck requires a skilled pilot, leaving players at lower ranks less likely to queue into it. Hand Warlock still uses the quest as a late game threat, while tapping aggressively to cycle towards cards such as Flesh Giant or Baron Scavenger. Warlock may not be as strong as it once was, but the archetype still poses a serious threat and will make Ladder a painful place for board-based decks to stake their claim. Hand Warlock has a good matchup against both greedier decks and board-based decks, as they tend to struggle with either your inevitability or your board wipes. This makes both Big Warrior and Quest Rogue favorables. On the other hand, Hand Warlock has a nearly unwinnable matchup against Poison Rogue due to the lack of interactiveness for you. While you spend your turns damaging yourself, they take advantage of your self-harm and simply kill you. The third deck making its way into Tier 1 is Taunt Druid. This archetype continues to be the best board-based deck for ladder, as its ability to flood is like no other. If you're a fan of traditional board-centric decks, we suggest trying this deck out. While Taunt Druid is a minion deck, it features some fairly explosive combo turns thanks to Oracle of Elune and Razor Main Battleguard. Being able to generate large boards seemingly out of nowhere is powerful, especially if followed up by Arbor Up. Taunt Druid has been around for a while now and continues to make its presence known, and this archetype likely won't go anywhere after the mini set's release. Its best matchup is against Poison Rogue, which often feels unwinnable at times for the rogue player. Even when they're ahead, it can be increasingly difficult to beat multiple taunt minions, making it nigh impossible to win. However, Taunt Druid struggles most against decks with multiple board clears, such as Big Warrior. Typically, Druid excels at repeatedly making boards, but Big Warrior has the inevitability factor with its large minions such as Rattlegore, making it hard for the Druid to retake the board when behind. The last deck we'll look at in Tier 1 is Face Hunter. This deck has been the best performing Hunter deck for quite a while, and we keep finding it in the top two tiers. Some players actively despise this Hunter's game plan, with the idea that pure aggressive decks should have no place at the top of the meta, but whatever your perspective, this deck is objectively strong. Face Hunter makes use of its aggressive minions to take the board early, aiming to close things out with its over-the-top burn. Cards such as Barak Kotobane and Warsong Wrangler give the deck a much-needed cycle engine, allowing you to continually pressure your opponent no matter the game state. Face Hunter does what you'd expect it to do, and it takes advantage of the slower decks that it queues into. For example, Hand Warlock and Quest Rogue both struggle against Face Hunter due to the constant burn, and they will succumb to your pressure. However, Face Hunter has a difficult time against archetypes with a lot of healing or armor gain, making the Big Warrior matchup nearly unwinnable. So that wraps up the first tier in our meta snapshot. Now we'll look at the top two decks in the second tier. For the full picture, go to TempoStorm.com to read the complete report. Leading off tier two is Quest OTK Demon Hunter. This archetype is another that was nerfed recently, but has still proven to be a formidable threat on ladder. No matter how you cut it, OTK Demon Hunter is a deck that has been performing way above expectations. While it can also be difficult to pilot, this archetype is one of the best answers to OTK Garot Rogue, making it a solid choice for ladder depending on your rank. As we've said before, we suggest taking some games to really learn the ins and outs of this deck before switching to a different one, as some of the play patterns are non-standard. OTK Demon Hunter does best against other combo 
decks, making it a great counter to Garot Rogue. Hand Warlock, however, can consistently threaten you thanks to Ray's Dead. The last deck in today's meta report is Librem Paladin, an archetype that may feel too pushed to some players due to how strong the synergies are, but regardless, it's still a real threat. Librem Paladin is a good deck for people who like to multitask. Even though some turns may be complex, the majority of them don't require heavy APM or many decisions, leaving you to have time in between turns. This archetype has a lot of volatile matchups, with some being extremely favored and others feeling unwinnable. Librem Paladin is at its best against Quest or Big Warrior, as you pretty much have unlimited threats with Librems. Your worst matchups, however, come from decks that benefit from your lack of explosiveness, such as Garot Rogue, as they'll just kill you while you're discounting your Librems. We hope you enjoyed this meta analysis and are as excited for the next set as we are. If you liked this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. Until next time. Thank you.